Hey everybody, this is Layla Stats coming to you from workwithtobyandlayla.com. I, uh, I wanted to put together this video because this is a question that I get asked a lot about inserting a web form into your profile page. Now, if this is the first time that you have seen any trainings or any content from Toby and I, you're going to want to check out the link at the side there uh, or in the description box if this is on YouTube and, uh, and really go through a lot of the valuable content that we have on our blog. So the first thing that you want to do is download the HTML profile box application. And it's just HTML profile box. So you look up HTML profile box, download the application, and, uh, and it'll come up here. So the reason that I wanted to redo this is because Aweber has actually changed their web forms. And Toby and I weren't even aware of this. We had created all our web forms already, and it was actually Ken that brought it to our attention. He was trying to set up a web form from the training video in the MLM Link System Pro, and it's different now. So we thought we would do a new training video just to show you guys exactly what to do. So they've definitely revamped the, uh, the web forms. They look awesome. Uh, my favorite one is this one right here. So you pick your theme, you download the theme, load the template, and you want to remember that in Facebook you're only going to have a very small amount of space. So normally if you're inserting these web forms into a blog or a website, we always suggest to put a phone number in. Now, but, but because of the limited space, um, you're really only going to have enough room to capture their name and their email. I've tried it a couple times and I couldn't make it fit. So you edit the header, um, learn the exact strategies that we use. Maybe I'll say Toby and I use to generate 50 to 100 leads every day. And I'm going to make this, I'm going to move this so I can see what it looks like. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller just because we're working with Facebook here and space is limited. I'm going to center it and maybe give that a little bold here. Okay, so we do that, and then go down here. You can also edit this. Toby and I always like to change it to something a little bit more compelling. Uh, free instant access. Okay, easy enough. So this looks like it will fit uh, in the in the area that that uh, that column on Facebook. So we. Save web form. And you can see there are a ton of different themes here. Looks like they've really gone over and above. You can also actually download your own image in the background, which, uh, which Toby and I are going to be coming back to for sure, maybe getting a little fancier with the web forms on our blog. So I'm going to call this uh, Facebook Web Form. And I always like to redirect them to my blog. But if you don't have a blog, you can definitely just keep it as a default. And it's just going to be a thank you page saying thanks for your information. And then they're going to get your autoresponder email. And guys, just a little tip here. You're going to want to go into your autoresponder email, especially the first one, and just personalize it. Um, save the form. So they really feel like they're connecting with you. Uh, maybe include a link into your blog, whatever you want to do. But uh, just, just personalize it a little bit. So you're going to go to I will install my form. And this is really important. Um, you need to use the raw HTML version. For some reason, I can't get the JavaScript to work 
with Facebook. I don't know. It just doesn't like it. So you copy the whole thing. Control C. Go in here. Paste it into our HTML profile box. And hit update. So there is one more little secret that I want to share with you guys. Um, and this is a, a common sort of troubleshooting problem when you're trying to upload this onto your um, onto your profile. And we'll just wait for everything to come up. All of these people messaging me, slowing everything down. Um, Sorry, Jacqueline. Just in the middle of something. Okay, I don't know if it worked. Let's try a refresh. My laptop has been getting angry at me lately. Okay. So let's hope that it's there. Awesome. So it looks like maybe I'm just going to have to go back in and, and just trim it down a little bit, make it a little bit thinner, um, but easy enough to do. As I said, you just go right here. I'll show you guys how to do that really quickly. Um, resize. So we'll just thin it up a little bit, a little bit skinnier. So then you save that, go paste that into your profile. But that's pretty much how it's done. So here's the little trick that uh, a lot of people run into problems. When they download the application, it shows up in their boxes. So how you get it to your profile, and this is a little secret for you all to know, is you actually see this little tiny pencil here. See how it says move to boxes tab? Well, when it's in your boxes tab, it'll say move to profile wall. So what you do is you move it to your wall, it'll show up there, and you'll be good to go. So hopefully this training helped you guys out and uh, really showed you step by step how to insert a web form into your profile box. I can't wait to start playing with some of these web forms in a They look really awesome. And uh, if you have any questions, of course, feel free to get in touch with either Toby or myself. You can find us on Facebook. This is me. Just give me a search and I would be happy to help you out. So from Toby and Layla, Thanks for watching, and we will see you on the inside.